All right, folks, I'm out here at the old marina. There are a lot of folks here. All the freaking jump in the lake. They pay 30 bucks to jump in the lake. As far as you can see, people want to jump in the lake for 30 bucks a piece. And you tell me that that's awesome? I don't know about that. All those folks in there are like, oh, this is so fun. Yeah. What? What? Yeah, what do you want? Where's Waldo? I don't know, he's right here? <laughs> no, he's not. The girl's over there somewhere. Hey, hey, hey. See all these folks? They're trying to be cool. Oh, there's the girl right there. She's gonna jump in the lake. All for charity. I gotta get my way and bump and grind my way through to get the shot of the girl jumping into the lake there. Like I said, all for charity, 30 bucks a piece. So they've even got the emergency response team over there just in case something goes awry. Do you like that? Like what? You have to go and put your hair under. No? Yeah. Oh! Hey, hey you That was so cool. Oh my gosh. Not true word spoken from Sister Ward, right? Yes. They call this the Winter Fest. It's the annual activity that, you know, is super, super awesome, super fun, and you get in the lake and all that stuff. So and they got the vendors and the booths and you need to have you have to pay to jump in. Yeah, yeah. I already told them you have to pay 30 bucks to jump in. But guess what? You get a sweatshirt though. Oh yeah, Yeah. You get like a, like, you know, a four dollar sweatshirt. It's, it's worth right. it. She's been looking forward to this for years. Yeah, they always want to do this, and we just say no, no, no. What? Was it colder? Is it colder than last year? It is colder than last year. Who said it was colder than this year than last year? It was completely really cold. Let's just go home when I went, and I'll like, go take a shower. Let's go home. And did you see that reaction from Sister Ward? She is so excited. We get to go home. Yay! Yay! We get to go home. Yeah, so, so, so fun. I would, I will do that every year. All right, so now I'm at Beaver Mountain Ski Resort in Logan Canyon and Waiting for the boy to come here. We're here to pick him up. Been here all day long. The boy's gonna come screaming in here right before four to try to be the last one on the lift. I just know it. So let's see if we can see the boy coming in on his skis. Go, hurry! We're doing one more trail. I've been skiing here before. I prefer snowboarding over skiing. Grew up skiing and then I transitioned to snowboarding when I was a teen. I prefer to snowboard, but I've been here only night skiing actually, have not skied at this resort during the day. I don't have the time or the money or the patience or the energy to go snowboarding. So we got here the ski patrol Mr. Man, he's like, oh yeah, I got a photo bomb, you can be on the YouTubes. You want to be on the YouTubes? Sure. Yeah, he wants to be on the YouTube. see that? Doug. 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 So we got the girl, she did the polar plunge today, jumped in the lake for 30 bucks. And then the boy, he's been up here skiing all day, and I've been working on my shed. What? And Sister Ward's been um, keeping sweet. So here comes the boy on his skis. Happy day. Pal! What? Our car's over here. Turn, turn, turn. What's that? So is he coming down this way or no? Where's your butt? Where's your butt? I'm going to go with that. Okay. Hey! Kind of an interesting day. A little bit of shed work. A little bit of uh, lake jumping. And a little bit of skiing for the kids. What? Wait! I need to get it on camera, the story. Get much. Look, I love watching him get it. Yeah, it's killing. Tell him why I was so 
behind. Yeah, why were you so behind, pal? He'll tell you. Tell! No, I... he'll tell you. You tell. You're the cool one, Bubba. <laughs> why did you crash off the jump? Because I went like four feet. Hey, hey, he said he wasn't going anywhere. He's not. I'm not going anywhere, pal. Yeah, can you put your seat forward? Oh, heck yeah. Keep <laughs> sweet. Yeah, I do a good job. Keep sweet. Ready? Let go, Sky. Go! Came across some firewood at the landfill and the trash trailer that I was empty. So I decided to put it in the back of my truck. So I cut her up and use it. Check out what else I scored here. This is shortening made from meat fats and vegetable fats. This, uh, it's good for all your deep fat frying and baking and cooking. So I thought you might be interested in that. I figured that I could just use this guy for put some, um, put maybe one of the Dine and Dash in, in there or something like that. Got these Dine and Dash pots, put them in here. Drop. Oh, Drop wait. Drop and decorate. Drop and decorate, apparently. So, got these from Home Depot. And if you're lazy, like me, you just want to do the minimal, but you want awesome color, you buy these Dine and Dash pots, and then you just drop them in. So you take it out of here like this. Fill the bucket. Right here, and then Throw it in like that, easy, look at that. You kidding me, done. That's flipping awesome. So like I said, don't be dining and dashing. These are dropping and decorating, folks. Drop and decorate. Dove. Right aim or wrong? Right. Keeping sweet? What, <laughs> what do you think, yes or no? Yeah. Apparently it's all based on what you the man thinks. <laughs> yeah, it is. Keep sweet. My design guy decided to swing by. He's given me a consultation on what I should do with the she shed. It was his idea to change the windows and it's his design. So, and I trust him. He creates some awesome stuff. So I'm going to go with that. I'm coming over here to see what he has to say and what we should do. Okay, take it outside. You all right? Oh man, I fell off the ladder. Oh, Whoa. Yeah, I'm good. Wait. Oh, that's sure you're all right? <laughs> There we go, folks! Just like that, I got myself a window in this sucker. See that? 